Five Fingers from Marseille, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what they call it in the film, is a South African film about five kids in the town of Marseille when police show up and extort money from the town. The kids lead a small revolt, which leads to Tao, the Lion of the Marseille, one of the Five Fingers, killing two police officers, causing him to run away from town. Years later, Tao returns to Marseille to find his brother Zulu, another of the Five Fingers, dead, and the rest scattered throughout the town as a vicious gang leader strikes for power over the town. This was probably one of the best blind buys from the Dollar Tree I've found in a long time. And unfortunately, the DVD is a rather bad pressing. The compression rate is just bad, but the film itself is a dark, brutal thriller with complex characters that grips you from the opening act and never lets go. Every actor brings their A-game to develop realistic and moving characters. We have a large time gap in between the ages of the characters, and it's quick to see how the characters have grown and developed in this absence. Tao is a man who's looking for redemption since his actions as a kid set off a chain reaction that has harmed the town and his friends. Pockets the wealthy finger, naturally became a politician, becoming the town's mayor and wanting to create a new Marseille as a wealthy and more prosperous town, but it's not all that it seems to be. Cockroach, another finger, who was captured as a prisoner of war after the retaliation from the law from Tao's actions, has become the chief of Pocket's police force, but is rather unhinged. Leroto is now working with her father at a bar that he's ran since they were children in old Marseille. Pockets wants her to move into new Marseille so he can protect her from the rising gang lord, but she refuses. And the rest of the fingers, Unadi, the storyteller, who becomes a pastor and clings on to what was once, and Zulu, who's dead. There's a lot going on in this two hour runtime with a lot of characters, which makes this film just fly by. The film has a great sense of foreshadowing and uses it to kind of make the film feel like it comes full circle. This is the feature debut of director Michael Matthews who went on to follow up this with Love and Monsters, another movie that I really enjoyed. So with that and this strong debut under his belt, he's definitely a director I'm going to be keeping my eye on. One thing I kept thinking about was just how brutal some of the violent set pieces were and how well done the blood and gore effects are. Bullet holes continue to bleed, people don't really just fall over and die but rather continue to fight, which leads to some very grounded and heart pounding action scenes. Honestly I went into this one with little expectations and was rather just floored by how good this actually was. My only real complaint would just be how rather cliche the score was, but outside of that I would definitely recommend Five Fingers for Marseille.